So our one to Las Vegas for the CES Conference 2020, also known as the Consumer Electronics Show. And all of the newest products are there. For example, we have this wall cleaning robot. We also have this series of drones. And you can see that they're acting together. But what's amazing about these drones is not only that they are about the size of your hand, if not a little bit bigger, and also not the fact that they are pretty light, but that they are able to move together. Um, later on in the show, you can also see them pouring different batteries, such as H and G, in order to represent hybrid, but not pictured here. So these are the drones that were earlier in the show, and they are displayed on the table. You can see the lights underneath them. This drone is under the rain, but it's still pretty stable. And here you can see this drone which is flying around, and you can see there are two all cars that are going around. Um, and they're just flying around and in the display and you can see there's the blue car as well as the red car in the back and the drone is there on the left side of the screen and now it's disappeared. This is a ping pong ball machine called Forpheus and you can see that it plays with you. It analyzes both the levels of your ability forehand and backhand and it also analyzes your mood as well as the ball itself. Here we have a 3D printed scene and it can be smooth material. Here we have is a ball and the person walking inside you can see what they're looking at on the screen and it's called the Mars experience. So it really allows you to have this full experience. This is a screen that is more of a projection rather than a screen as you can see it is now displaying the world in 2020 for the CES conference. Here we have robot gloves that are connected to that are connected through the air to the robotic arms that are not connected to the person's body and this is a volunteer who is participating and what he's be at being asked to do is to move the ball from that cup into the other cup And as you can see, even though the arms are not connected, there is a little slight bit of delay, but it is actually, it is, it does seem pretty good in terms of its actual control. This is an Android anchor and it, the person looks very sim similar to an actual human, but it's still an Android. This is another one of those robotic gloves. You can see that she is wearing the glove on her left hand and the hand connected to the box is what is being controlled by the glove. Here is a 360 VR experience, you can see what you're seeing on the TV above and it's turning around and around. This is a yoga system and it is supposed to be able to detect you as well as to personalize the experience to you. And you can see the glowy thing behind that silhouette of theirs and this corresponding graph is supposed to show how you've changed over the course of the yoga experience. This is actually a see-through display of the fish, and you can see that the shark is in the back on a separate display. And here you see, you ha have a c it had, there's a camera that is looking at the actual CS conference, and there's a filter, so it looks like as if we're underwater, and there's a turtle there. This is pretty interesting, and it's by Delta, and it's all about this idea of an exoskeleton. This is one of the volunteers where you can line up and try it out and he, it's supposed to be 50 pounds but he lifts it easily and here we see is another exoskeleton but rather than just focusing on the arms this one is more of a full body suit or rather than a suit a full body kind of appendage and you can see her walking around she has lifted the propellers from there before that was the demo and now she is talking about kind of her experiences through the suit Moving on to the other exhibit, this one is called The Wall, and it, one thing that's pretty fascinating about it is the way it interpolates and extrapolates between different sizes of resolutions. 
So as you can see, it can act like a wall, it can play into the background, but it can also take any size of resolution, for example this one, and it can change it to a different size with the same quality as before. Like so. This one is a huge flying drone by Hyundai. And as you can see, its wingspan is quite huge. And you have to stand quite far back to see it. This is a car made by Amazon, which is pretty fascinating. And this is a sleeping pod in one of the other sections of the CES exhibits. And as you can see, there are tons of people at CES. This is just a single line while waiting for the bus, which gets you from one part of CES to the other. And that was the end of CES 2020, and we're flying away from Las Vegas and heading back. Hope you enjoyed it. There were a lot of new products, lots of innovative designs, lots of cool things to see, and people to meet. See you next time.